This is The Monkey's Paw, a vintage bookstore located at 1067 Bloor Street West in Toronto, Canada. And inside is the Bibliomat, a one-of-a-kind, coin-operated vending machine that dispenses randomly selected old and uncommon books. And today, we're going to be buying a random book from this machine. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Our journey begins here, where we are calling the store to see if we can film inside and ask some questions. Hi, is this the monkey's paw? So you guys have the bibliomat that has the random book vending machine, right? Well, I'm making a video and I was just wondering if I could come over and ask some questions about the machine. Yeah, no, I wanted to buy one of the books. Okay, cheers, thanks. I wonder what book I'm gonna get. I'm so excited. All right, let's do it. about this random book vending machine, I was so intrigued. I thought to myself, what a cool idea. And then when I found out it was located in my hometown of Toronto, I had to check it out. I had to go purchase a random book from this vending machine myself. But first I want to make a few stops along the way, starting with this. This is called the Little Free Library. Now there are tons and tons and tons of these all around my neighborhood. And inside is what you'd expect from a Little Free Library. Books. Now these essentially function like a take a penny, leave a penny, when pennies used to be a thing. If you have a book that you don't need, you can put it in the Little Free Library. On the other hand, if you need a book, you can come to the Little Free Library and take a book yourself. Now the thing is, when you're choosing a book, you take one out, look at the cover, maybe read the description on the back. And then after all that, you make a decision. You choose whether to take the book or not. But it's not random. It's not a random book vending machine. And this is why the random book vending machine intrigues me. A lot. Next location. This is my local library. Let's see if they'll let me film inside. When you go to your local library, there are literally tens of thousands of books to choose from, but you still have to make a choice. You take a book off the shelf, you read the synopsis, you look at the picture, and you make the decision to choose that book or not, but it's not random. Next location. So let's say you want to choose a chocolate bar. You come into the store and you have all these options to choose from. With all these options, you still have to make a choice. Do I want to purchase this? Do I want to own this? Do I want to eat this? That's not what a random book vending machine is. Next location. Now we're off to the final location, the Monkey's Paw, downtown. Let's do it. So I finally made it all the way downtown and here we are at the Monkey's Paw. I'm here with Mr. Stephen Fowler. Uh, Stephen, who came up with the idea for the vending machine itself? Uh, well, the concept I think was mine. I didn't build it, but uh, it was my idea to have a randomizing vending machine. When was the vending machine built? How long has it been in function? Uh, it's coming up on 10 years next month. So it was uh, introduced in uh, the fall of uh, 2012. This is the only vending machine in existence that deals out random books, right? I guess I can't say that for sure, but it's the only one that serves up random old books, I, as far as I'm aware. In the 10 years that you've had the vending machine, how many books do you think you've sold? Probably between 20 and 30,000, somewhere in there, yeah. And do you have people coming back on a consistent basis? There was one guy who used it every you know, once a week for a year. He was one of our favorite customers. Thank you so much for your time. Sure thing, yeah. 